so uh, today we will be discussing the uh, review article a review of minimally invasive techniques for corrections of adult spinal deformity which was published in indian spine journal in uh, issue 1 of this year so as this is a review article uh, i would like to uh, request the moderator to give me extra 2 to 3 minutes uh, uh, apart from the allotted 10 minutes so uh, the adult spinal deformity spine deformity it refers to set of conditions which involves the following that is the patient should be at least 18 years old with coronal corps greater than 20 degree with sagittal vertebral axis or vertical axis greater than 5 cm and a pelvic tilt of greater than 20 degree whenever a patient has these criteria uh, they are termed as uh, having adult spine deformity and according to the authors mis can be classified based on two parameters one it, it is based on the invasiveness and the on the operation and the degree to which the mis techniques are used and the second is based on the approach to the spine that is used so on the basis of degree to which mis is used it can be further classified as mis decompression which is uh, mis decompression with or without uh, short segment fusion in patients with mild spinal deformity and the symptoms are primarily of neurogenic compression the second one is circumferential uh, mis which is a 360 degree deformity correction with anterior column support and posterior instrumentation everything through an uh, entirely mis approach and third technique is hybrid surgery wherein you incorporate lateral mis techniques with a traditional open posterior surgery which includes osteo autotomies and instrumentation usually there is a confusion between seamus and hybrid surgery sometimes uh, however seamus it differs from hybrid surgery in that it spares the paraspinal muscles and it preserves the posterior uh, ligamentous tension band on the basis of approach it can be divided into t lift uh, lateral lumbar interbody fusion a lift or mis placement of screws percutaneous screws mis rod rotation etc so the aim of this paper uh, is to highlight the information about the current practices in the use of uh, uh, correction in, in the use of these procedures for corrections of adult spinal deformity through literature review and analysis uh, and analysis with special uh, uh, this thing to limitations learning curve and cost effectiveness of various mis techniques so this study was uh, performed using the prisma guidelines for systematic reviews and meta analysis and the authors underwent search using all these search engines and they use the following uh, keywords for as their search criteria and they uh, got the articles so the inclusion criteria was articles in english published after 2005 because they felt that after 2005 there was a significant uh, improvement in the mis techniques and articles providing quantitative results with respect to perioperative and late complications specific to asd with open mis and hybrid procedures retrospective and prospective studies including rcts non rcts case control and case series and the exclusion criteria are those articles which did not provide this uh, quantitative results and articles with uh, patient age uh, uh, i mean in younger age group and articles that did not have more than 95% of the patients undergoing mis surgeries and studies including tumors infections or congenital anomalies were excluded so totally 476 papers were retrieved of which uh, after undergoing all the filters they got 38 papers and finally they uh, collected 27 papers after excluding non english text articles and other uh, and after applying other exclusion criteria so we'll be discussing predominantly these 27 papers here so first uh, the first and foremost thing is the indications of mis there is no clear consensus on when mis should be performed according to this uh, according to the authors here however they have suggested to follow the mislat algorithm which helps us to evaluate uh, each patient and categorize them into different groups and after that the surgical treatment can be planned accordingly so this mislat algorithm was published by uh, dr mumaneni and their group mislat means uh, mumaneni and michael wang s for silva l for lenke a for aman and t for two so this algorithm is basically used as an algorithm for adult spinal deformities as you can see they have classified into six categories and this itself is a broad topic to discuss so i'll just go into the nutshell so if the patient is not having back pain they land up in mislat 1 or mislat 2 those who have back pain but without lumbar kyphosis they usually land up with mislat 3 and those who have lumbar kyphosis with sagittal imbalance they usually land up with mislat 4 5 or 
we have to uh, note here that only from mislat 1 to 4 is the traditional mis decompressive surgeries it could uh, vary from decompression alone or fusion of lumbar apex in mislat 2 mislat 3 is fixation of the lumbar curve and mislat 4 is uh, multi level fixation using mis whereas 5 and 6 categories it is open surgery with uh, osteotomies so this has to be understood and basically they have classified it as uh, uh, small surgery medium surgery and big surgery so according to the severity of the surgery now coming to the comparison of the various mis techniques so this is one of the papers which was published which compares mis hybrid and open uh, in the in the article which we are discussing they have actually mentioned it as issg as invasive species specialist groups which is wrong it is actually international spine study group so according to this paper it is uh, seen as there is no difference in the radiographic correction and the hybrid group had absolute improvement in degree of lumbar lordosis cop angle correction increased uh, decreased sva and the complication rates however was higher with the hybrid approach so this is a multi center study which was conducted in 184 patients which compares three types seamus hybrid and open so they say that the mi seamus group included patients with significantly smaller cop angle whereas hybrid group had a significantly larger lumbar curve correction and restoration of lumbar lordosis and as well as change in the pelvic incidence and lumbar lordosis whereas the open group they had not they not only had the greatest sva correction but also had increased uh, thoracic kyphosis correction too so coming to the various types of mis techniques which is used the uh, the commonly used one is the MIS still we all know so this uh, surgery has been quoted according to this particular surgery they have said that MIS still may achieve the goal of correction of cobs angle and lumbar lordosis in patients with less severe deformities if we see actually this is a systematic review actually they pulled out around 4000 studies and after undergoing various filter mechanism finally only 16 studies were included so according to this study the the line which i have written it is directly from the article which shows that do mif t lift procedures restore lordosis they say that they have a guaranteed conclusion because many of these findings they are within the limits of uh, measurement error for cops that is less than 10 degrees however the review article which we are discussing they have pointed out that there exists much evidence according to this paper to suggest that mif t lift may be adequate for restoration of lumbar lordosis so coming to lateral interbody fusion there are various studies which have been published which shows significant improvement in coronal and sagittal cobs angle improvement in pelvic parameters and improving segmental and regional lumbar lordosis so this is a paper which uh, which is a meta analysis which compared mis t lift and uh, llif according to this paper fusion rates are similar but mis llif has better clinical outcomes than traditional open techniques however mis t lift they had better oda vas pain and complication rate compared to llif so a lift procedure it is associated with shorter operative time less bleeding post operative pain it restores the disc height and uh, regains lordosis significantly however osteoporosis uh, we have to be very careful because it can result in subsidence coming to the main issue of learning curve of mi surgeries for adult spinal deformity according to the authors it is defined as the time taken or the number of cases by an average uh, surgeon to become proficient and the measures used for assessing this is intraoperative continuous variable processes like uh, operative time and other outcomes like complications so this is uh, uh, in mis t lift according to this study by silva et al they showed that 90% of the learning curve can be achieved at around the 40th case similarly according to this uh, mis t lift which performed which was performed in 100 cases the asymptote of the learning curve was achieved at the 44th case so usually it is between 40th and 44th 45th case that one achieves 90% proficiency so this is uh, a study which was done in 60 single level t lift patients and it was clearly shown that the blood loss and the complications were higher in the early uh, group that is the less experienced group and this is a study which compared single resident and attending team in 28 tlif procedures there was no difference between operative times and no difference between pedicle screw placement this is an interesting study which included 627 pedicle screws placed in 150 patients as we can see the complication rates and the uh, intraoperative adjustment of screws gradually decreased as the uh, number of cases increased so this was done in asian population the breaking point according to this study by uh, uh, chong it uh, 
it occurred at the 22nd operating level so all these studies uh, um, and they quote this and this is a study which was uh, uh, done in old if patients 21 patients were involved and they say that neuro monitoring is unnecessary in old if proper corridor is being followed and no statistical significant difference in blood loss operative time compared to the first 10 last 10 patients coming to the last part which is the cost effectiveness there is abundance of research for cost effectiveness in spinal degenerative condition especially in single level whereas there is very very little evidence in adult spinal deformities and in indian mi surgery there are there are no studies according to this paper so according to this paper the cost the average savings uh, when mi is compared to open is about 122000 dollars however the outpatient uh, rehabilitation cost was similar so this is a study which was done in italy and united kingdom they basically calculated the quality adjusted life gain and they found out that the cost difference was about 979 i mean around 1000 euros in italy and 1600 euros in uk so what are the limitations of mis according to this paper so according to this paper if you see uh, uh the i mean the mis lumbar lateral interbody fusion it improves segmental lordosis and disc height but not regional lumbar lordosis according to this particular paper and this is a very good paper published by neil anand uh, at all according to them to correct sva to less than 50 mm the preoperative sva sva have to be less than 100 mm and curves larger than 80 degrees you have to be guarded and is guarded to use uh, mis techniques and to achieve post operative uh, this mismatch of uh, pl we have to be very careful it should be less and uh, cms techniques are currently used for curves with lesser magnitude and when the preoperative sv is greater than 100 mm and substantial amount of lordosis is used then you have to use uh, open techniques however they came up with another paper after a couple of years which compared their older and newer protocol and they said that uh, if they follow the newer protocol the uh, all the criteria i mean the uh, sagittal vertical axis lumbar lordosis everything improved significantly so this is the original protocol so there you have one more minute sudhir yes sir so these are the limitations according to this paper so this is the last uh, article which is quoted only 7% of the surgeons use mis to treat adult spinal deformity in more than 80% of the population in scoliosis research society so to conclude mis for asd correction is a technique with good short term uh, clinical and radiological outcome however a steep learning curve exists and surgery adoption of this technique the surgeon adoption is still low and cost effective analysis for developing countries must be performed one more limitation which i found in this particular article is that the learning curve they included patients with single level t lifts and single level lumbar interbody fusions predominantly they didn't uh, include studies which showed adult spinal deformity so that part alone uh, they concentrated more on single level uh, procedures uh, thank you once again for giving me this opportunity to present this journal in this forum thanks mm -hmm.